And we're back with another thing we're thankful for, teachers. Johanna Hayes is a history teacher at John F. Kennedy High School in Waterbury, Connecticut, and was recognized this year as America's Teacher of the Year. We just heard Vin Scully talk about what brings him joy. What brings you joy? That's easy, my students. I meet them at 14 when they're not really sure who they are and the impact that they can have. So helping them find their gift and using it to improve the human condition to help others, I think that's what brings me joy. And what's the secret to that? So many different kinds of students. Relationships, just showing kids that you care about them, showing them that you value them as people and making them believe that they have the ability to do anything that they set their mind to and work hard at. Excellent. All right. That's the beginning of our conversation, <laughs> and what we're going to be back on the other side of the break. Okay. And then we'll talk a little bit more with Johanna Hayes. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Face the Nation. I'm John Dickerson. We continue our conversations with people we are grateful for, including 2016 Teacher of the Year, Johanna Hayes. We, you were talking about students before. You said there is no benefit to anyone if a student achieves high grades, if they have no desire or knowledge of how to help others. What does that mean? It means, I think that the purpose of education is more than just graduating students who get good grades. I think that they need to be compelled to help out in their communities, to improve society, and that's really how I focus my teaching. I want my students to feel connected to their communities, to improve the places where they live, you know, to use what they've learned in school to help out. And I, I think that's what all teachers should do, you know, that students should know that it's a privilege to be able to give and not everyone can do it. So I really bring my students out and try to get them involved in their community. And what does that mean? How, does, how do you do that? Oh wow, we do all kinds of community service projects. We are actively involved in Habitat for Humanity, Relay for Life, the autism, we do homeless um, awareness, cancer awareness, food drives. I just want my students to know that they have the ability to improve the things in our country and in our world that they see as challenges. You know, no matter how young they are, they still can make an impact. And if, uh, what does the student need to bring to you? What's the key quality that a student needs to learn? Just, actually, I have so many students who come to me and they don't see anything in themselves. They don't realize that they have the capacity, you know, to achieve anything. And I try to help them discover that. Why do they feel that way? There's a lack of self-efficacy, you know, they've heard all the reasons why they can't do things. And I just try to remind them that you can do anything. You know, students, young people in general, kind of see the world from exactly where they are, the position that they're in today. They can't see, you know, the future. And I think that teachers have the ability to lead students. We see so much far beyond, you know, today or tomorrow. We look into the future and see the possibility that students bring. Why should someone become a teacher? Oh, because it's the best job ever. <laughs> I think that I am uniquely positioned to impact the world, the future. You know, I have a front row seat to all the promise that we have. You know, I believe in what teachers do. You know, I know that the world would be better. Things will be better because I see students in front of me every day who have the ability to make those changes. So I consider myself very lucky. All right, well, Johanna Hayes, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.